I'm Ozzy Griffin, and uh, I've this is a long overdue review. Uh, I've finished reading recently Echoes of a Life Well Lived by Richard M. O'Brien, a uh, good friend of mine, a uh, fellow YouTuber, Celtic Hero 9, and on you now, uh, if you look him up. So, Richard does a dilly of a job writing a very interesting. Um, book. What I'd say about this book, I, I've said this to a few of my friends and they've agreed uh, when I've read a bits and pieces of them, this is to politics what rat poison is to rats. And there's a reason I'm going to say that, because he asserts his opinions on things. However, he does not do so with an authoritative stand. He does count on the authority of uh, deity in scripture. However, he does not write in a condemning fashion. He does not bash victims. He does not bash perpetrators. Uh, he does not uh, condemn people outright, though he does pose some very harsh questions, including to um, his fellow Christians and especially Catholics. And as someone who was raised Catholic, uh, mind you, Australian Catholics are a different breed of beast, let me tell you. Um, they are especially good ones. And I've got to say that the best bit about it is for all the opinions and philosophy he puts down coming from his stories and going through his essays where he speaks his mind on things and then going into the speeches he's delivered uh, in the past and ultimately leaving in it his poetry, my favourite being Three Swans, where he talks about you finding... You don't find serenity and peace, it finds you. And I completely understand what that is. This entire book shows how he arrives at his conclusion, shows where his logic and mindset is. And if you want to argue against any of the points or ideas he raises, all you have to do is use the same structure that this book is putting out, and you can make those counter-arguments. And it turns it from an argument into two people having an honest discussion, and I am blessed, dare I say, to have had a few discussions with him where we have disagreed on some things. And he could always show me where he came from and how he was working out, and I could always do the same, and he'd listen to that, and I'd listen to him. And we're both richer for it. He's still working on something to do with the educational system and some proposed reforms. I'm still ain't uh, anxiously looking forward to hearing that. However, Richard M. O'Brien, he has written a beautiful book, and I'd recommend it to any American who is going to go into either politics or a career in the armed services. There's some striking similarities there. Because it will show you uh, what a lot of people think is important in those areas, and it will show you uh, the principles that he believes are essential for those areas. I'd like to thank everyone for their time. I do recommend this book if you like good poetry and getting inside the, uh, the American soul. Thank you.